Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have another smart art box to share with you. This is the box that just arrived, the January box. Let's see what we have inside. Of course, we've got our orange tissue paper. And oh, if you're interested in subscribing to these boxes or purchasing a, a past box, you can visit smartartbox.com to do so. So we got a brochure here with a, a Da Vinci drawing on the front and um, a list of supplies, but I don't want to look at that quite yet because I want to look and see what I have. Um, and then there's, of course, a project on the back. So I love that the box gives you something to do. Um, so in the box here, we've got an artist chamois, and this is meant for blending um, charcoal and uh, pencil, that sort of thing. We have a little, uh, it looks like a storage box, a divided storage box here, so you can keep your art supplies, tiny art supplies, organized. We have Create a Color Artist Pencils. It looks like we have a white sepia and black charcoal pencil here. Uh, we have a Create a Color 7 Deep Black Pocket Set, 7 Nero. Let's see. Um, I think these are like a waxy charcoal, so they're not supposed to be dusty. Um, but I'll have to get that unpacked. It's all wrapped up in, in a cellophane here, but we'll give those a try. I want to give everything a try here in the box. I want to be gentle with them because pencils can... You never want to be rough with a, with a colored pencil or a sketch pencil because you could damage the lead and if the lead breaks within the barrel and you go to sharpen it then it can be kind of a kind of a pain. Well I am getting some on my finger if I smudge it so maybe they're maybe these have a little wax binder in it. I think they are like a wax. They have like a wax in them or oil in them or something. So those will be fun to use and we also have a Canson cream drawing sketch pad. So they've got um it's fairly smooth cream paper that's micro perforated, so you could tear out a sheet without having those, uh, without having to worry about the uh, spiral bound. I do like spiral bound sketchbooks because they stay nice and flat. Um, so there we go. We have all sorts of fun new things to play with, and I'm going to um, do some sketching. We're going to do three sketches today. The first one is from an old master drawing by Pietro Berrettini called Da Cartona. He lived from 1596 to 1669, and the English translation of this sketch is Study of a Young Woman. So I began with the brown pencil in the three pencil set that had the kind of like charcoal -y leads. Um, I started off with a kind of pointy oval for the face, and then I like to quickly put in a curved line to line up my eyes. Um, I just kind of throw in the uh, most basic shapes to begin with, not spending too much time anywhere on the face. I find if I um, jump around and get all the major features in, right off the bat, I'm less likely to make a mistake that's going to um, throw everything off down the road. So I just start Start really bold and sketchy everywhere and then I kind of refine as I go on. The total length of this sketch was uh, about 10 minutes, actually 10 minutes on the nose, uh, but I sped it up just because I haven't done drawing tutorials on my channel very much and I didn't know if you guys would like it or not in real time. If you do want a real time drawing tutorial, please let me know in the comments below because I'd be more than happy to make some. I just didn't know if anybody would be that interested, so, um, so I sped this up. Now I'm using a chamois to kind of smudge out some of those rough sketchy lines that I put in and now that I'm seeing how much lighter it made it I am going and adding more and then blending that out more. Uh, this paper is cream and I kind of wish it was a little bit darker because I love the, to use a white highlighting pencil but it just doesn't show up on this cream paper unless I have a lot of toning underneath. Now I'm going in with that black pencil which is like super black. It's a, like a charcoal, like a traditional charcoal and I am um, pretty much sketching over my dark lines that I know are true. I don't want to go over anything with a black charcoal pencil that is iffy because um, I don't want to make anything pronounced that I'm not really sure about. Uh, so that's why I just kind of go around and only add this, these marks to areas that I know are accurate. I love how it really brings a certain sharpness out to the picture when I'm doing this. I kind of um, like to jump around between the black and the brown pencil and I also like to smudge as I go so I can get that uh, the tonal relationships correct as I'm going. Here I'm using the white pencil to try to add some highlights but they really don't show up very well on this cream paper. I should have laid down more shading if I wanted to use the white pencil. 
the uh, the sketch is coming together quite nicely now just adding a little bit more smudging and a few more details with the black pencil and that is it I hope you uh, you try sketching something too next up we are going to look at another old master drawing and sketch that using the same supplies this next sketch was done after the drawing by Jean-Baptiste Creuse, who was a French painter who lived between 1725 and 1805. It's entitled Head of a Girl. I started off with the tilted oval, um, just like the drawing I was copying, and I put in a diagonal lines to line up my eyes, nose, and mouth on. And I'm here throwing in the basic shapes, just like I did in the first illustration. This illustration I spent about 11 minutes on, so one minute more than the last one. And it's amazing when you're drawing how much an extra minute or two makes in the uh, quality of your sketch. So now I'm throwing in, I'm still doing everything with that uh, sepia colored pencil. I'm throwing in shadows. I'm just trying to capture the form as accurately as I can. I am uh, sketching on this little bonnet, which is adorable, that this little uh, this little French girl is wearing. And I'm kind of putting in her, um, you know, shock of curly hair. And basically I want to get a little more toning on this um, sketch than I did in the last one because I want to be able to use the white pencil for highlighting later. Now I'm using my shimmy to spread out the uh, and smudge out the charcoal so that I kind of get a nice tone surface and I'm sharpening my pencil because um, I used up that pencil obviously that's why you sharpen a pencil people uh, <laughs> and I am uh, darkening up some of the features I want to be more prominent I'm getting the irises and the eyelash line a little crease above the eyes um, eyebrows I'm redefining the edge of the face a little dimple in the chin and uh, the lip line the line underneath the um, the top lip especially where I want to have that a little more pronounced and I'm adding a little more shadow around the edge of the face in the nostrils and uh, you're usually gonna have more shadow especially if somebody has dark hair at the hairline because um, you don't want that bright white under there when you start to sketch the hair in I have uh, more dark on the right side of the face so I'm adding more shadow there and just kind of smudging it with my finger I tend to use my finger more than anything when I'm smudging now I'm going in back and forth between the black and the brown pencil and I am just redefining. Um, I like how nice and crisp that black looks when you first start to put it into a sketch. By starting with my most broad shapes and then going in with my darker pencil after, I can go through with confidence that I've got everything in the right place because I don't want to go in and add that dark pencil until I'm sure that I have things where I want them. Now I can go in and really uh, darken and define that hair because I do have a little shadowing underneath and I can make the features a little more prominent, shade the top lip, then go in and add highlights anywhere I would have highlights on the sketch such as um, the nose, over the eyes, under the eyes. I think of where the light would hit and that's where I do that and that's pretty much how that sketch was done. This next sketch was done after a drawing by Peter Paul Rubens who lived from 1577 to 1640. The title of his drawing was Portrait of Susanna Formant. I started off like I did with the other two sketches getting in my basic shape. Now this was um, a very interesting face. Um, I really wanted to sketch it because it wasn't a very conventional looking face. So I started off uh, getting in the interesting shape. You could really see the, um, the definition of a side of her cheek and it was just very um, uh, captivating. So I wanted to get in those, that line really well first and get her interesting shaped nose in there uh, quickly. I will have to edit that a little bit. Um, as we go along, but I just wanted to basically get the features in. Then I realized I needed a little bit more space in the chin, so I'm going in and adding that. I've switched over to the um, all black set of pencils that came in my Smart Art Box kit, and um, I'm finding the waxy surface interesting to work with. I'm enjoying it, but um, if I need to smudge out a mistake, it does not smudge out quite as easily. It's still smudgeable, but um, I don't. It doesn't have quite the warmth and ease of use as the the regular, more pastel-y charcoal pencils do. But I'm pretty much progressing in the same fashion. This sketch took me almost 16 minutes to complete, so it's the one that took me the most time by far. But uh, but I did really enjoy the process. Now this woman's face is very manly looking. Some of her features are quite masculine, so I have to be very careful that my shading does not look like um, like facial hair. So I'm going to have to do some smudging and smoothing there, so it doesn't look like this. Uh, lady has a beard um, but I'm going around and I'm using different softnesses of pencils to achieve these different effects so the chamois is able to blend out quite a bit of the um, 
of the kind of waxy lead that these pencils have. They're kind of like a Conte crayon, if you've ever used it, that same sort of uh, kind of waxy, chalky texture. I know you don't think waxy and chalky, but that's the best way I can think of to describe it. Now, these pencils come in three different uh, softnesses. They come in a extra soft, a medium, and a hard. So I started off with the hardest pencil because I knew that would leave less for lines, and then I progressed to the medium and then the soft as I worked on through this piece so that I could get my darker, more, uh, my darker lines when I felt more sure about, about my sketch and how it was going. So I'm also wanting to put this kind of like, uh, collar that she has on. I want to get that down there. It makes her look uh, kind of like royal or stately or something. And uh, I had to soften those uh, eyebrows. So I've skipped over to the little stick of kind of graphite-y, charcoal-y stuff. And um, I find that I got a much softer look when I used that, not so harsh as I was getting with the pencils. I'm adding a little bit of detail onto her shirt, um, adding a little bit more um, on her cheeks and I've switched over actually I grabbed that sepia pencil from the other kit because I wanted to warm her up and since I don't have color I'm kind of relying on just a grayscale but if I can add that sepia in there it adds a warmth and adds a little bit of color that I really enjoyed and then I'm going in with the thickest stick of, uh, of charcoal that came in that kit and I'm adding streaks in the collar and I'm going in with the white and just brightening up a few little highlights there. There was also a stick of vine charcoal in that kit, but I couldn't see it because the plastic packaging that holds everything is black and the charcoal is black, but there is also a stick of vine charcoal if you are interested in trying that. That's also in this kit. And now I'm adding a few more accents to make her look a little more feminine and um, make the drawing look a little bit more accurately and just blending out little bits that are needed. I want to thank you so much for watching today. If you would like a box of art supplies delivered to your door every month, make sure to check out Smart Art Box Box.com. You can subscribe or order any past kit that suits your fancy. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.